Amy, good morning. Opioids are a growing problem across the entire country. Each day, more than 130 people die from misusing these drugs. Here in Cook County, it's three deaths per day. And despite new programs, discoveries, and resources, the numbers have not declined. The number of opioid deaths is more than 1,000 in Cook County, while the number of gun homicides is around 600. So that gives a perspective of the, uh, the significance of the opioid overdose. Dr. Pania Runkumar is Cook County's chief medical examiner. She says her office and local hospitals started seeing fentanyl pop up more and more in overdose cases. In 2017, there were 653 deaths tied to fentanyl. A year later, 847. The numbers for 2019 are still pending, but so far, 789 deaths have been recorded. When we see a cluster of deaths where we don't know why they're dying, it requires collaboration to kind of see what is going on. This is what brought Dr. Aruku Mar and Dr. Steve Axe, the director of toxicology at Cook County Health, together. Fentanyl has, has a much higher potency, maybe 100 times as much as as the morphine compound. It's used to treat painful procedures. We use in the emergency department, our operating rooms all the time. What really has been the big public health crisis is that street heroin has been substituted with fentanyl. Laced street heroin is affecting an older population in Chicago and Cook County, which is different than the national average. The age group that is most affected is the 45 to 54 year old age group. You see opioid overdoses more in the lower of the 25 to 34 year old age group. As patients get older, they become more susceptible to having effects to a higher potency drug. However, most of the overdoses are because of illicit drugs. With fentanyl overdoses on the rise, more hospitals are being trained on how to test for it in their ERs. So even if our toxicology screens are negative, you have to assume that it's another type of agent that's not detected by our screens. Our screens are only so good. These two doctors have spent the last four years combing through data to determine the best possible resources for those affected by the drug. When Cook County Health Hospitals get a positive test of fentanyl, they will send that individual to a recovery coach for additional support. The overdose reversing drug naloxone is now being offered at higher rates to treat overdoses on the spot. The medical examiner's office is helping with funding the testing to different opioids. And of course, there is the public information aspect. The more you know, the better. All of our patients with substance use disorder, they need access to care. That's when we're going to really see the needle move in the right direction. All right, and the resources don't stop there. Head over to the medical examiner's office website. Click on the tab that says medical examiner maps. You then get this dashboard of everything that's going around in the entire county. Then click on opiate related. Then we went ahead and typed in our address, 26 North Halston, and it shows just how many overdoses have happened in our radius. Again, public information here is key. Guys, over to you.